Hi, I'm Julie, and today we are going to learn how to move in steps, skips, and repeated notes around the piano. Before we get going, Gemma, how are you doing? Hi, Julie. I'm so excited. Wow, I'm really glad to hear that, Gemma. Because this morning, this guy from school, Brody, that I've totally been crushing on forever, he tweeted a picture of himself skiing in Colorado. And I absolutely love skiing, so I know that he's trying to tell me that he likes me. Cool, Gemma. So Brody knows you love skiing too? No. Hmm. You'll have to keep me posted on that, Gemma. Philip, how are you doing? I don't understand all these tweetings and Snapple chat and Facebooks. If I want to talk to my wife Deirdre, I speak directly to her face. I'm sure that Deirdre appreciates that very much, Philip. Grace, do you have anything to say about social media? My mom says I can't use those yet because I'm only five and that I would just have to make real life friends and followers. I'm sure that you'll have no problem making friends or followers, Grace. All right, let's move on to today's lesson. I'm gonna teach you about steps, skips, and repeated notes, and then I'm gonna teach you your first song. I'll define what the terms mean, and then I'll show you what it looks like on the keyboard. So let's bring up our C scale. You'll remember it's C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. So let's start with repeated notes. It's pretty obvious. It means you play one note and then you play it again, like two C's in a row or two D's in a row. Then we have steps. So just like our scale shows, C, D, E, or we could go backwards, E, D, C. The notes are all in a row. Then we have skips. It means you play one note and you skip one white key and you play the next note or a letter, C to E or D to F, or you can go backwards, F to D or E to C. Now I will show you on the keyboard. A repeated note means you're gonna play the note over again. For example, E, 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 or D, D, D. A step means you're moving from one note to the very next note up or down. So C, D, E, or G, A, B, or down, G, F, E. A skip means to skip one key and play the next one. So C to E, D to F, or you could go down, G to E, E to C. When you combine steps, skips, and repeated notes, you can play any song. Julie, when you're playing a song, can you skip more than one note? You bet, Grace. Most songs have lots of different skips, and in the future I'll be showing you how to play those too. For today, we're just learning how to do one skip. All right, let's put this all together, and I'm going to show you how to play Mary Had a Little Lamb. We're going to use our finger numbers on the right hand. So remember, they're one, two, three, four, and five. So to play Mary Had a Little Lamb and lots of other songs on the C scale, you'll place your right hand on the piano. Put finger number one, that's your thumb, on C. And this C is called middle C. That's the C that's closest to the middle of your keyboard. And this is a very special C because it's used in a lot of piano songs and we're gonna use it a lot in piano lessons. So next, place finger two on D, three on E, four on F, and five on G, one finger for every note. This position is called C position and it's the home base for a lot of songs. We're gonna start Mary Had a Little Lamb on E. So here we go. E, D, C, D, E, 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 D, 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 E, G, G, E, D, C, D, E, 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 D, D, E, D, C. Now let's try it a little bit faster. We're 
Were you able to identify the steps, skips, and repeated notes? I found the repeated notes on Little Lamb. Yes, the steps that begin and end the song are quite magnificent. I found a skip from E to G. You guys are awesome. As you play Mary Had a Little Lamb or other songs, get in the habit of saying the notes out loud as you play them. Making your brain identify the notes as you play them, it's going to help you remember them better. So keep practicing and I'll see you at our next lesson. Oh, and Gemma, good luck with Brody. Bye! If you enjoyed today's lesson, Check out Julie's other piano lesson videos and subscribe to the Berlante Music Studio YouTube channel. Please give a thumbs up if the video was helpful or leave a constructive comment on how these videos could be improved or suggest a new topic for a future lesson. You can also check out Julie's videos on BerlanteMusicStudio.com. Have a great day! Brilliant!